Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 11th episode of Senryu Shoujo. Now, last episode, our characters had like a test of courage and it was a very scary, considering this is usually lighthearted, fun slice of life anime. And once they got through that terrifying experience, they found the fireflies and they played with them and they were all shiny and sparkly and they fly to, flew in the sky and everyone had lots of fun. That's pretty much, that was last episode. So, what will they do in this episode? We'll have to jump in to find out, so that's what I intend to do. So, here we go. Three, two, one, play. And we have a festival. A 38th. Ooh, that's a really nice yukata. And Nanako, of course, looks straight in hers as well. No surprises there. Well, of course, she has that, you know, kind of character design. Oh, damn. Impressive. Wow. Why? Why did you want fish that badly? <coughs> yeah, but Nanako does have that kind of traditional Japanese beauty look to her, so of course she would look good in a yukata. Goes without saying. So, is everybody going to be at this festival? Just, just wondering. And back into it. Watching the fireworks with you. I guess that would be a nice experience. <laughs> oh, and goes having a lot of fun, it looks like. I still think Amane has a better Yukata. But Nanako wears hers better, so probably balances out. Is that a slight blush on your face? <laughs> I could tell. Yeah cute though, so, fine. You should have two hours early, so it says a lot. <laughs> uh, should not be casting stones there, AG. Just slide it on into frame there. My mind a little bit creepy. And she keeps doing it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes, yes you are. At least you realize that. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't quite get a chance to read that. Is that a family station? Like a Nintendo PlayStation combination? That is what it said. Wow. Funny. <laughs> oh, not a go. <laughs> That's what matters most when Nautica wants likes. Thing is quite shiny, isn't it? <laughs> well, it kind of is because that felt very, uh, you know, brightish. That's not the right word for it, though. Like you're giving her an engagement ring or something. That's what it came across as. Uh, poor Amane. Uh, couples. Yeah, I noticed. Amane, the third wheel. Very aware of the situation. <laughs> Poor Amane. Really? A romantic? Quite a blush. A what? But yeah, I guess it's nice. Why not? I see. 
I don't think you understand what she said at all. Very important to walk like a lily. You're... You're ruining this, Eiji. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, why do you like him again, Nanako? Just out of curiosity. That's a little bit weird, Damane. <laughs> uh, the funny mental image, though. We're just gonna leave Nanako behind. It's kind of messed up, you know? A little bit. Well, at least she's got that ring. He did put a ring on it, so... She should feel a bit more secure now. Oh. You guys look pretty nice, too. Whoever you are. You're very, very generic-looking side characters. I'm kind of weird here with people... Yeah. Well... Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Well, it's not the worst thing that could have happened after you left Nanako by herself. She could have got hit on by another guy. How would you have liked that, AG, huh? And that's kind of in jeopardy now, so... <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect time to panic. Really? I feel like I could spot Nanako in an army of people. She would, like, be glowing. Yeah, seriously. I'm not asking the important questions. Well, no, but that was kind of taken from them. Well, <laughs> sort of. It was kind of a... There was, there was a third wheel, but... <laughs> she apparently... I mean, she has to keep a lot of them, right? To be able to... Right at a moment's notice. Don't drop that thing, it's probably expensive. Ooh, fireworks! Found the time. We haven't found Nanako yet, that's that's bad. I wanna hurry up, yeah. Uh yeah, don't leave that behind. We gotta find her. You call yourself Nanako's future boyfriend. Disappointed in you. <sighs> Just get on through there. There are some nice fireworks. I've seen better, of course, but not bad. Uh, don't, don't cry, Nautico. Just don't do anything but that. I can't, I can't handle that. AG, you better hurry up and find her. You have literally one job. You better do it. It's mine, you can't have it. Go away. Don't even ask. <laughs> okay, maybe if you hug me like that, I could be tempted. Yeah, I don't know. Complicated. AJ is currently playing Where's Nanako? Not doing so well at it. Yeah, they were like the same color before, so this is nice. No, stop it. Stop it, Nautico. No, stop. Stop. Okay. 
Finally, he found her. You incompetent male character, you. There we go. Yeah, I mean, the ring glows. You should have really not been that hard to find her. But at least you did. I guess that's what matters. You look so much happier now. Yeah, I was kidnapped. It's not my fault. So, yeah, the, the ring did help, apparently. I kind of want that ring. Except I want it blue. Uh, don't ask such questions. We're trying to enjoy the fireworks. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know how you argue against that. It sounds very couple-ish no matter how you look at it. Uh, it's really no arguing that. <laughs> I love seeing Nanako just happy and smiling. I did not like seeing her cry. If I went much further, it would have started to probably make me cry as well. So good thing we didn't quite get to that point. Well, you got a nice view. Uh, I feel like it's probably almost over. And yeah, that's the end. Oof. Yeah, Koto, you weren't in this episode, unfortunately. Was not an episode for the side characters to shine, but they were. They had time to shine last episode, so it's not a big deal. But hopefully, next episode they come back. At least Kino and Koto. I could take or leave Tao for the most part. <laughs> Poor Amane, man. She really did get kind of screwed over this episode. She was such a third wheel, it was kind of painful to watch. <laughs> but she just slid into the pictures because the pictures initially came across as very, you know, romantic, couple-ish. And then she just slides in to remind you, hey, I'm here too, guys. This is not actually a date. Don't forget that. It was funny. It was sad. I'm gonna go with AG. That's a very important sounding title. Okay. That was the 11th episode of Senryu So Shoujo. Not a lot to say with this episode, really. They went to a festival, the three of them. Eiji, Nanako, and Amane. And had a good time. But like I said, Amane eventually started to really understand how much of a third wheel she was. And that probably made it a bit less enjoyable for her. But, you know, they all looked very lovely in their yukata. So that's what really matters. Because yeah, Amane did have the best one. As far as yukata goes, she did have the best one. But... Nanako just looks great in hers. It's just not fair. If only we could kind of combine. I wish they kind of changed Yukatas. That would have been great. That would have been great, but I guess we didn't want to do that. Have to keep things as balanced as we can, I suppose. But she had a lot of fun there, Nanako, because she was with Eiji. Got to win prizes. I might have did get a... Uh, a Fami station, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Even though she preferred to have a boyfriend, but, I mean... I'll tell you what, Amane. You give me that Fami station, I'll be your boyfriend. It's a perfect trade. I think I think that worked for, for great, personally. But, yeah. Things became a bit of a problem when Amane and Eiji went to the bathroom together. Which is a bit odd. Usually it's girls that go to the bathroom together, but... You know, had to, have a, had to have an excuse for Nanako to be left alone, so that felt a little bit contrived, I guess, a little bit forced, but it's not a not a big deal. Especially since AG did, AG did make it a little bit funny with his comments about, wow, you want to pee together? That's a little bit weird. So, uh, I'll accept that. You know, it, it needed to have this uh, AG searching for Nanako thing somehow, so... <clears throat> Fine. But yeah, then when she was left alone, they her, her friends kidnapped her. The unimportant friends kidnapped her, and they, then AG had to find her, so he just wandered around through crowds of people while the fireworks display was going on. Eventually found her because of the ring. He did put a ring on it, so it made it easier to find her, so they, they found her, they watched the fireworks together, and they lived happily ever after. 
the end of the episode. So, yeah, that's basically the episode right there. <laughs> Not a lot to say on it. We did get to see Eiji's family, I think, like his little sister and all that, which was nice, I suppose. Fireworks themselves were okay. I've seen better, but they weren't bad. You got some of the end point characters asking if he's they're like if they're like going out, and of course he denies it because he still doesn't quite get it. Not a good feelings, I don't think, or at the very least, uh, pretends not to. You know, it's hard to tell sometimes how dense a, a character is or how they're just kind of uh, they just want to keep things the status quo for now, so they're trying not to try not to you know try to keep things without changing. But uh, it's quite clear what Nanaka wants out of that relationship. Relationship, that's pretty pretty clear. And it's just it was kind of funny when he's trying to defend the idea that he went at it. He very through a lot of efforts made sure to find Nanako, desperately trying to find her in time to watch fireworks together, and is still trying to spin this as if they're not going out. So that's pretty. That's a that's a hard hill to climb. Was a but so it was kind of funny to see him try. But you know. Nanako knows what's up, so he'll eventually get it, I guess. But that's just a very romantic thing, no matter how you look at it, it's kind of my point. But he is more the tsundere of the, of the show, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I really got to say on it, but I still don't see what, see what she sees in Eiji at all. Just, he just seems like a, a dead guy that ruins everything. That's just kind of my impression of him. Just also a little bit annoying, but you know, that's just me. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was a nice episode, I suppose. So, thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.